All right, let's see it. stuff. There's no speed in it. How much are you asking? A hundred thousand. You must be kidding. It's worth a quarter of a million. I'll think about it. Put that down. That's our property. Drop it. Rudy, no. Get back. Nobody, sir. Carly, CR5. Harrington, sir. Inspector. Inspector, where's the cocaine? About a pound weight, sir, if it were full. A pound? That's an odd amount. There's about 20 grand's worth there as well, if it's pure. Some more blood here. Can't be hers. Someone else must have got hurt. He gave the alarm. Lives in the building. What's your name? Cranley. Arthur Cranley. Arthur, try and remember everything. There was a noise. I thought it was a door banging. Then lots of feet on the stairs. I went to look, and they were dragging Philip out. He was hurt. Philip? Who's Philip? This was his flat. These people who were dragging him out. What did they look like? Other students, I think. I've seen them before. How many? Two. Boy and a girl. I see. The boy had a pistol. He pointed it at me and shouted at me to get back. I was frightened. He shouted at you. What then? I went back to my room and waited. Then I came out and found Pamela. Did they have a car? You didn't see him. You said you knew him before. Did they have a car then? I don't know. This Philip, what was his other name? Latimer, sir. Philip Latimer. What does he study? Some research. He's a postgraduate. Biology, I think. I don't know. Well? It's not exactly the mafia, is it? Who leaves 20 grand's worth of coke lying around, anyway? Follow it up or leave it to the drug squad, sir. We follow it up. This may not be related to organized crime, but it's too close for comfort. Well, I suppose marijuana did start in universities. Oh, yes, go ahead. So they might be trying it with cocaine, no? Cocaine's a rich man's drug. How many students could afford it? Well, someone laid out for it, didn't they? Maybe they nicked it. Find out everything you can about this Latimer, also the dead girl. Oh, and uh, see if you can get a usable description of the two that dragged Latimer away. Well? They leaned on them. Good. Shouldn't be any more bother. 
Well done. He uh, had a slight problem. What problem? An accident. What sort of accident? Some shooting. Oh, my God. We had no alternative. How serious? Well, they drew us. We had no choice. Pretty serious. What exactly did... No, well, one of them wounded. Very badly wounded. The girl almost certainly killed. For God's sake, Smith, they were meant to be kids. They were armed. We had no choice. It was them or us. What about the stuff? Powell has it. Do they have any more? Don't know. No time to check. We can't take the risk. What? We've stirred up a hornet's nest. Police, customs and excise. Sooner or later, they'll track down those kids, then Powell, then us. They'll have to go. The kids? Fast! Right. may be there. That's the risk we have to take. No! Philip, Rudy is dying! He's dead. No, he's not. I can't feel his heart. It's feeble, but it's still beating. We can take him to a house ring the doorbell and leave him. After all he's done for us. It's more important that we stay free. Not if it means he has to die. Philip. What's the puzzle, Jeff? This stuff's like nothing we've ever tested. It is cocaine. Well, that's almost a philosophical question. In what way? Either it's cocaine with a lot of other things added or it's something similar to cocaine, but not exactly cocaine. Don't they cut it with other stuff to make it go further? Usually. But when I isolate the substance that responds to the cocaine separation, it doesn't behave like cocaine anymore. Well, what do you make of that? It's as if there are two, possibly more, active substances, neither of which is cocaine, but combined together, they produce the same effect. Is that feasible? If it is, it means that someone has succeeded where every other chemist in the world has failed. Succeeded in what? Making artificial cocaine. Any luck? Everyone's on holiday. The place has been taken over by a foreigner's language school. Uh, Got a list, though. Might as well check it out with the embassy. What about the dead girl's landlord? Our rooms were let out by the college. She was a month behind with the rent, you know. Ah, oh, you win some, you lose some. Anything on Latimer? Same old story. Hey, his professor's gone off on an orchid hunting expedition in Borneo. Do you fancy a trip? Well, this time of year. <laughs> Why not? You have to bring your butterfly net. It's already packed, mate. Anything else? Yeah, I got his date of birth and so on from the registrar for what it's worth. Four five to central, though. Come in, four five. Uh, run a check for me on Philip Latimer. Date of birth, 26 of the 8th, 55, is a postgraduate student. Over. Going through. Why do I need a butterfly net for orchids? Strong lad like you, gonna catch him with your fingers. Four five, your check is starting to come through. So much of it. A lot. Want me to read it out? Yeah, go ahead. Latimer Philip K. Born, 26 August 1955. Charged November 1974 with possession of marijuana and growth of cannabis. Do you want the court summaries? No, just the main event. You've received two years suspended sentence. Listed as PhD student in molecular isomorphy. Arrested during protest outside American Embassy, July 1978. Released without charges. Photographed on anti-national front march, December 1979. Signatory of petition against Ecuador and military dictatorship, February 1980. That's about it. Okay, thanks, Central. Relay that to Alpha Control. Stand by for uh, Embassy Immigration Checklist, will you? Over. Ready when you are. What do you make of that, then? Government warning. Smoking marijuana can be dangerous to your political health. It's not the usual kind of background for a peddler of hard drugs, though, is it? A lot of money in it. Perhaps you saw the light and became a capitalist. There are slower ways. Yeah, like working for CI5. 37 with cross check. 37 any time. It's going to be a long one. Abrahams, Mark Eisenthal, Antoine. 
Estelle, that's spelled E-S-T-E-L-L-E. -E. I've just spoken to some police department rather and told them we haven't got anything of that description. Well, this is a hospital, not an information bureau. Besides, all gunshot injuries are automatically reported to the local police station. Sorry about that. Over. Come in, Paul, five. Yeah, we got it. Viger Volkswagen Microbus. Registration number Whiskey Yankee Uniform 750 Tango. It's old, it's tatty, two tone grey, pale blue. You had these on him? Oh. Uh, 3 7, I'm in St. Luke's Hospital. I've got some ID on the man. Uh, there's a driving license, a bank card here. Philip Kenneth Latimer, and he's dead. Got another one. Volkswagen Microbus left hand drive registration number Whiskey Yankee Uniform 750 Tango is registered in the name of Diana Molmer, license number 605031, date of birth 3561. Give me security in that right away. Just been fired. No ID. Have you seen one of those before? Yeah, it looks familiar, doesn't it? Four five twelve for one, over. Come in, four five. We've got another body on the floor, but I think it could have a rat underneath it, over. Just what do you mean? 
Well, he's got no ID, but he's uh, got an SIS issue walkie-talkie, haven't he? Sir, I'm getting an unusual code reading on Diana Molnar. It's a classified readout. What classification? A9. We have no access. A9? Is that the only Molnar? No, there's one other, Rudiger Molnar. What do you read on him? Refer to Molnar Diana. 37445, this is Alpha 1. I'm giving you all available units. Whatever happens, I want those kids alive. Drive on fast! And don't turn up before the end of the road. Seven four five. We're in Queensway, turning east into Inverness Place. Over. I'm now in position behind the CI five agent's car. They don't appear to suspect being followed. Now, what about that A nine restriction in Molnar? I've checked the coding. It's Foreign Office. What department? We don't have it logged. Five seven seven B. Sir. Car hijack report, just coming in now. Some Luke's hospital, that must be them. Alpha control to 37, emergency sighting. Suspects dropped off by hijacked motorist on Norfolk Street ten minutes ago. Man is armed, wounded, the girl helping him. It's looking bad. How bad? CI-5 is closing in on them. Have they located them yet? No. It's only a matter of time. What about Harris? Dead. Well, at least he won't talk. His fingerprints will. Straight to the department. You can leave that to me. Do you still have a tail on CI-5? They're too busy hunting for the kids to look behind them. Then stick to CI-5. Let them lead you to the kids, then pick them off whenever you get the chance. Right. Land of a thousand bedsits. I've heard that one. Yeah. And hotels. <clears throat> Three seven. We're in the haystack. Eyes skinned for the needles. Dr. Roberts. He's been shot. Help me. You fix it. I can't. Do something. Please hurry. Good God, and I can't stop this. You have internal rupture of a main artery. Do what you can. You've got to go to hospital. You're going to bleed to death. Did you get any further with that A9 restriction coding? Negative, sorry. But I did get a Molnar reference, sir. It may be something. There was an Alexander Molnar, graduated from Sandhurst, 1950, on an Escondias government requisition. What category was that under? Left-wing sympathies. Did you check SIS and Escondias military? Yes, no record. Find out our level of diplomatic contact with the Escondias regime. Yes, sir. And see if you can trace where Molnar is now. If he's still alive and still in uniform, he could be in quite a senior position. Shall I try army intelligence? Yes. A left winger at Sandhurst. Not exactly a stereotype. That red saloon, two cars back. Yeah. Didn't we pass it earlier? What at the hospital? By oh, the roundabout. Four, five. 3745, we have another sighting in your area at the junction of Queensgate Road and Lime Street. Yeah, I'll do a left here. A9 
29 restriction coding 577B on Monmouth, traced to Foreign Office Department MI-17. Eyewitness confirms male suspect wounded, armed and dangerous. Injuries fatal unless immediately treated. This MI-17 identification, is it confirmed? I double-checked it myself. The department head is called Northcott. Northcott? MI-17, otherwise known as DDT. DDT? A light-hearted epithet for Department of Dirty Tricks. Alpha 1 to 3, 7 and 4, 5. Anticipate interference with maximum prejudice. You are not alone. Roger, 3, 7, now. Attention, Diana Molnar. Your life is in danger. Your companion is in urgent need of hospital treatment. Telephone 3730029. You will be given full protection. Attention. Your life is in danger. Your companion is in urgent need of hospital treatment. Telephone 3730029. Let me phone them. No. I want you to trace a man called Summerfield in security liaison. His name isn't listed in any of their sections, but he's there somewhere, and I must see him. If you come up against solid resistance, let me know immediately. Attention, Diana Molnar. Your life is in danger. Your companion... Summerfield, sir. Liaison denies all knowledge of anyone of that name. How far did you get? Assistant control. You mentioned my name? Yes, sir. Then call him again, repeat the request, and advise him that if I can't talk to Summerfield right away, CI5 will issue an emergency internal requisition to interrogate. Hello? 3745, Alpha Control has Molnar on direct. This is Diana Molnar. Miss Molnar, this is CI5. Tell us where you are and we'll pick you both up. Who are you? My name is George Cowley. I have men in your area who will protect you. Tell me where you are. How can I believe you? You have to trust me. We've spoken to the doctor who treated your companion. My companion? He must be taken to hospital now or he'll die. Will you take him to hospital? I give you my word. Tell me where you are. He needs blood. We have an ambulance already approaching your area. Tell me where you are. Is it an hotel? Miss Molnar, are you still there? Can you hear me? Miss Molnar, hello? Hello? Miss Molnar, trust me. Please, trust me. Hello? We are in the Phaedra Hotel. Just passed that two streets ago.
Everything will be all right. Come on, sit down. I think we're too late. Why? He's lost too much blood. I think we're going to have to risk O negative. My name is George Cowley. There are some questions I have to ask you. Do you mind if I call you Diana? You murdered my brother. That's not true. I trusted you. Yours was the voice I spoke to. You arranged it. We did our best to save his life and yours. That was a charade. A piece of theatre to fool the world, but not me. I know how you do things in this country. If that was the case, then why didn't we kill you too? I don't know. Perhaps you tried, perhaps you missed. Why don't we kill you now? Because you're not ready to. Because you will try to make it look like an accident. Because you're cowards. But, Diana, why should we kill you? The same reason you killed Rudy. The same reason you killed Philip. And why should we have killed them? Yeah, come on, tell us. Please. We need to know. Why do you ask me these... stupid questions? Because we want to know who killed your brother and Philip. You want to help us find out? You're about the only person who can. Who are you? Why should I help you? Don't you want to know who killed your brother? <laughs> now I see you. See what? This is how they do interrogations in my country, too. Really? Really. What country is that? Yes? Colonel Torres to see you, sir. Send him in. CI-5 have got the Molnar girl. Then it's all over. No, it's not. The brother is dead. The chemist is dead. She's the only one left to worry about. But that is enough. They will make her talk. She may talk, but what does she really know? They will piece it together. Only if they question her long enough. Ah, how can we stop that? We extricate legally. Ah. By using international law. Where did the cocaine come from? What cocaine? How do you bring it into the country? Did you bring it into the country? Or was it manufactured here? How did you intend to sell it? Did they tell you who to take it to? Or did they leave that part to you? They, who the hell is they? The ones you're fronting for. The ones who sent you here and funded Philip. Look, can't you see you've been set up by people who didn't give that much for your brother's life? Or the poor girl who got killed. You said she was completely innocent. 
What do any of you in this country know about poverty? Do you have starving peasants? Malnutrition, children dying of tuberculosis and curable diseases? Young people going blind from vitamin deficiency? Interesting. Are you sure there won't be any problem? None at all. Remember, apart from the bit we've been through, I do all the talking. Northcote, Foreign Office. May I present His Excellency, Senor Eduardo Torres, Special Attaché of the Embassy of the Government of General Olivares, the head of CI5. Your Excellency, Her Majesty's Government has informed our consulate that you have here a Diana Molnar in your custody. She's one of our subjects. And Miss Molnar is in the service of our country and is full protection of diplomatic immunity. As co-signatory of the Geneva Convention, we request and demand that you release her forthwith. There seems to be some mistake. We do hold uh, Diana Molnar here under the Special Powers Terrorism Act, and we also have a passport which is West German and not diplomatic. And perhaps there are two Diana Molners. She holds dual nationality. Those credentials, countersigned by our own government, provide her with the necessary status. Dated today. Excuse me, may I? There are duplicates. Well, Miss Molnar, whoever your backers are, they appear to be very highly placed. What do you mean? A gentleman has arrived here from your embassy. You've been provided with diplomatic status. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I don't understand. Don't you? It's a trick. Not on our part. They're going to kill me. Come with me. Miss Molnar, you and your brother were trafficking in illegal drugs. In order to prevent great disgrace and shame falling on our country, our military rulers have given you honorary diplomatic status. The Foreign Office is prepared to accept a retroactive emendation on condition that you are repatriated within 24 hours. What if I refuse? You cannot refuse. I can claim Political asylum. Can't I? If you should choose that course, and if asylum is granted, you will bring international humiliation on our country and possible retribution to your friends and relatives at home. You must not think only of yourself. Hmm? Will you come? I have no choice. Then let us go. Wait. I hereby arrest you, Diana Molder, and charge you with being an accessory to murder and conspiracy to trafficking and drugs. Until her diplomatic status is legally acknowledged in a magistrate's court, she will remain officially under the care and custody of CI5. What does this mean? A wearisome formality. I'm a stickler for detail, Your Excellency. Fine. Now can we proceed? But we're not standing in your way. Will you ride with me? Come to us. Just wait for me. 
car, that'll be a few minutes. I'm afraid no one can help you very much with Northcott. Why is that? His department is one of the funny ones. It has complete autonomy. A PM appointment? Lord, no. It's like as not the PM has never heard of its existence. Then how is it answerable? A long, exhaustive process. Official complaint, subcommittee, closed hearings and so forth. By which time it's always too late. Well, the dye and the mold in the business is an entirely different kettle of fish. Or should I say can of beans? Perhaps nest of vipers. You're much too model, George. It wasn't for your threat of an emergency requisition, I'd prefer to spare you the seamy details of the barely forgivable face of secret diplomacy. Oh, don't worry, I've looked under stones before. I know the things that crawl there. And Diana Molnar's father is highly placed in the right-wing military junta in her country. Ah. Now, their country is completely broke. But because of the current obsession with human rights in the world, it has difficulty in finding trading partners and international loans. I'm not surprised. The biggest single source of income... Is cocaine. As it always was. And like its more legitimate predecessors, the Olivares government has taken over the cocaine trade, virtually its only source of income, but it's worth 800 million pounds a year. I see. And Anna Molno was fronting that operation for them. Good. God, no. Then what? She was trying to stop it. To stop it? She tried to do it really rather clever. See, the world cocaine scene has been shifting to London, as you know, and so her government's main income now comes from here. Diana Molnar found some research chemist to manufacture cocaine artificially in this country. And what she and her fellow revolutionaries had to do was to cut in on the imported supply from her country. Replace it with their own homemade stuff and topple the dictatorship back home by strangling its funds. And then they ran into Northcott's department. So what will happen to Diana Molnar now? I understand she'll be taken to court this afternoon. Her new diplomatic credentials will be presented and then she'll walk out of the building. And everyone's hands will be clean. Including Northcott's? You have a much a job keeping the domestic house in order. Haven't you, George? This is Alpha 1 to 3, 7 and 4, 5. Come in, please. 4, 5, 3, 7. We're outside the courthouse. Has she come out yet? No. There could be an attempt to assassinate Diana Mourner outside the court. Well, listen carefully. Anticipate strong resistance. Prevent danger to her at all costs. Suggest you take her to maximum security yeah, as soon as she comes out. Have you got that? Yeah, four, five, Roger. One more thing. This is an Operation Susie. Over. Uh, three, seven. Could you repeat that, please? Over. Protection Molnar is an Operation Susie. Over. Three, seven. Confirmed. Over. If anything goes wrong, you're on your own. Abandon identification and RT. You repeat, if anything goes wrong, you're on your own. This order will be erased. It's always us, isn't it? Yeah. We haven't played with our trains for a while, though, have we? What, down at the old, uh... Yeah, yeah I suppose that's the best place. Fancy driving something for him? Yeah, why not? Welcome to the diplomatic community, Miss Molnar. What happens now? We suggest you leave the country within the next 24 hours. Otherwise, you will be formally deported. In which case, you will be returned directly to your own country. Four. 
foreign female diplomat abducted from Central Court by two men. Last seen in the the minister on Liverpool Road from East. He's still in conference. Security cabinet. Will the private secretary do? No. I still can't raise three, seven, or four, five. <laughs> General's office. There's no position we can take. We must comply with whatever they request. Well, our information is that two of your men, Bodie and Doyle, have kidnapped Diana Molnar, who has foreign diplomat status. If that is true, then according to the act under which CI5 is authorized, you must disclose their whereabouts if known to you. Failure to do this could technically constitute treason, the penalties of which you are fully aware. Uh, just a moment. We must comply. The computer recorded the suspensions of duty of 3, 7, and 4, 5 before the time of the abduction. Meaningless. Supposing I don't know where they are. If they're found on our property, or they're found at any subsequent time to have used our property in the course of the abduction, that'll give them enough to hang us. Unless we cooperate fully. I can't we delay? That is non-cooperation. That is worse. It's obstruction. Bodie and Doyle are finished anyway. Don't let them bring us down with them. But why does Northcott want her so badly? I'm sure that's something we'd rather not know. The two former agents you've inquired about had access to all our safe houses, the lists of which are in your own computer. In addition, there's an emergency grounding station special to 37445 unit at the old South Bank terminal. Thank you. Northcote, 3745 are quite proficient. I suggest that in order to reduce casualties, you give them every chance to surrender. We can handle it. Cheer up, it's not that serious. They're hurting. Good. What happens now? It's a very good question. Uh, you rescued me. Whose side are you on? Yours. I don't understand. Look, we're just following our orders. Those orders are to protect you from whoever's out there. Something bad, Judge? Alex, I'm going to break all the rules I ever lived by and ask you and your committee a favor. I can only speak for myself. Your union is one of the most powerful and militant in the country. Most powerful? You contributed 100,000 pounds to the left-wing resistance in Latin America. Famine relief. Of course. What would you do, uh, what would your union be likely to do if they were to discover that the British government is secretly funding the Olivares military government. If that was true, no damn well would pull the rug out and force an election. But I have to tell you, George, you've been misinformed. In what way? Our union has been involved in top secret trade agreements with the Workers' Revolutionary Party of that country and our Prime Minister. It's going to be a coup. It wasn't a bluff. There was even a general present, one of Olivares' chiefs of staff, who was to lead the coup. My God. The PM wouldn't mess with us, George. Even though some of the cabinet, and I've no doubt half of Whitehall, would love it. There'd be a revolution in the cabinet. It'd be the end of the PM's career. Don't answer this, Alex. Was the general in question called Alexander Molnar? I won't answer it. Thank you. By the way, what was the favour you wanted, George? Well, another time, Alex. 
Me viene a dar. Are we safe now? Don't worry. There's only one other person who knows we're here. Yeah, and he's on our side. Mr. Cowley? That's right. He makes people trust him. I think she's got his number. They're in the red carriage. One and two stand your ground. Units five, six, and seven take the rear. You and your brother succeeded in selling that coke. What were you going to do with the money? Buy weapons. Weapons for whom? For the resistance movement. You hadn't actually bought any, though. No. Did they know what you'd planned, these resistance people? They didn't trust them. Uh, none of this is relevant, though, is it? The point is, they stopped her from selling the coke. The only chemist who can make the stuff is dead, so why are they still trying to kill her? Yeah, and trying so hard, too. What is it that you know, eh? Why are you such a threat to him? You nobody barely knows we're here! Kick down! Tactical withdrawal! Tactical or strategic? Have we got a strategy? They want her dead. They want all of them dead and quick. Maybe that's the question. Why the king hurry? If I'm gonna die for a meaningless cause, I wanna go with a clear head. Save it! Look, we can't get out of here! We'll drag it out! Then get it over with. Don't worry. We've got it this time. Hurry. Norfolk! You're under arrest. What the hell is this? What for? Treason. We've had it. No, you haven't. Keep still. Call them off now. Abandon action. Abandon action. They only want me. Keep down! Abandon action! You rock, baby! Leave them, they're withdrawing! But they're just acting under orders. They've probably got just as much idea why she had to be killed as we have. But at least she knew what she was fighting for. They were against her, and that's all she had to know. <laughs>